Winston Churchill was an inspirational statesman, writer, orator and leader who led Britain to victory in the Second World War. He served as a Conservative Prime Minister twice from 1940 to 1945 and from 1951 to 1955. Winston was born into a wealthy aristocratic family in 1874 at Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire, England. Although achieving poor grades at school, his early fascination for the military saw him join the Royal Cavalry in 1895. As a soldier and part-time journalist, Churchill travelled widely, including trips to Cuba, Afghanistan, Egypt. And whilst in South Africa, during the Second Boer War, Winston Churchill was captured and became a prisoner of war. He managed to escape from prison and travel 300 miles to be rescued, and as a result, he became something of a hero in Britain for a while. Churchill was elected as Conservative MP for Oldham in 1900 before defecting to the Liberal Party in 1904 and spending the next decade climbing the ranks of the Liberal government. He was first Lord of the Admiralty by the time of the disastrous Gallipoli campaign which he created. Heavily criticised for this error, he resigned from this position and travelled to the Western Front to fight himself. After salvaging his reputation and returning home from the war, Churchill rejoined the government and was made Secretary of State for War and Air and the Chancellor of the Exchequer in 1924. The 1930s were known as Churchill's Wilderness Years when he opposed the self-rule of India and made continued unheeded warnings in Parliament about the rise of Nazi Germany and the need for British rearmament. He was again made First Lord of the Admiralty when war broke out in 1939. And when Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain resigned in 1940, Churchill took his place. Churchill refused to surrender to Nazi Germany and his rousing speeches and tireless work throughout the war hardened public opinion to the war effort. He built a strong relationship with America's President Roosevelt and maintained a difficult alliance with the Soviet Union. Many in Britain saw Churchill as a great wartime leader, but not the man to lead the country in peacetime, and he was defeated in the 1945 general election. He was re-elected Prime Minister in 1951 and resigned in 1955, but remained a Member of Parliament until shortly before his death in 1965, at the age of 90. A state funeral service was ordered by the Queen and thousands stood in silence out of respect for one of the greatest wartime leaders the British Empire had ever seen.